and ultimately a sattvic diet plan and for these pranic foods encourage stability of the mind so that's what a sattvic diet and lifestyle really is is when you have complete control over the mind hey guys so this one is all about positive pranic food and according to a sattvic diet plan in ayurveda welcome back my name is claire and this is claire minded and today so we're talking about um pranic lifestyle a sattvic lifestyle and kind of what that entails with the food that you're eating so in ayurveda we have these three levels and it's to Tamastic, rajastic, and sattvic. And sattvic, as many people know, in the yogic world almost, it's kind of like this like pure consciousness. You eat very clean, it's very pure light. You're just, you know, letting things flow. Rajastic is more when you have that awareness, but you still have all this like mental haze. So there's for example, so say we have like a big giant lake, right? So a sattvic lake would just be pure calm serenity you know it would be nice and calm nothing too drastic going on just pure even lake water and then you have the rajastic mind which has you're still in that lake but it has a few ripples so it's almost like a stone dropped in and the ripples are just fading out and they're just expanding and growing and that's like the mental haze so rajastic state you have this clarity and this awareness but you still have all this mental confusion kind of buzzing in your head so you're not exactly at that sattvic stage quite yet and then under both of those we have the tamastic stage tamastic stage and this is almost like a big giant rock falls into the lake and creates like a lot more waves and the tamastic state is almost like you're living in ignorance a little bit too um, you're not too aware you're just ignorance and bliss so moving into some of the pranic foods and recipes that you guys can use to encourage the sattvic diet plan in Ayurveda, you can have things like kitri are very good, very easy to digest, moderately spiced there. You can have soaked rice with dates, cardamom, cinnamon, something a little bit sweet, lots of vegetables, lots of fruit. You can have kale, carrot, like ginger, fennel, lime soup, that's really good, clearing. You wanna eat just whole foods, whole vegetables because these are ultimately gonna keep your body and your channels pure as can be ultimately and I mean of course everything in moderation if you have that coffee but if you're trying to live more of that sattvic life you really want to stay from any of those rajasic stimulants like that coffee that alcohol those like spices spices that everyone loves you know the chili the pepper those are very rajasic because they keep your mind moving including garlic and onion too those are also rajasic so they're mental stimulants and then the tamasic foods are definitely things you want to stay away from if you want to pursue more of a sattvic diet so some good pranic foods that I can give you and that you can start incorporating into your life are things like rice, barley, wheat in small amounts, bread in small amounts as well, definitely some legumes. You want some mung dal, nuts, tofu is really good, fruits like dates, citrus, mangoes, apples, raisins are delicious, some grapes, get those in there too, and vegetables. You definitely want a lot of leafy greens like spinach, Swiss chard, kale, cilantro, put in some cucumbers. Potatoes are good in small amounts though, nothing too heavy. You want to keep these channels as clear as possible, go for more of a purifying effect. And sweeteners, you can incorporate a little fresh honey, some maple syrup, or some molasses too in small amounts. And spices, you definitely want to focus on some of those moderate spices. So fennel, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger are some good places to start for living more of that sattvic diet. So some rajasic foods that you want to stay away from are things like excessively hot spices like hot mustard, garlic, onion, hot peppers. Uh, you want to stay away from sour foods as well like chutney, fermented foods, pickles, sauerkraut, vinegar, excessive salt uses. You definitely want to stay away from alcohol or coffee. Those are all super stimulant to the mind and can cause more of a rajasic state of mind. And you definitely want to stay away from any blood of meat. So any like super red, dark meats, all that juice, that's very rajasic foods. Some examples of tamasic foods that you definitely want to stay away from are overly ripe foods. Anything from a can, canned foods, overly cooked foods, old food, twice cooked foods, overly processed foods, flesh of meat, refined sugar, alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. Those are all very tamasic type foods that you want to stay away from if you're trying to pursue more of a sattvic diet plan in Ayurveda and starting to incorporate those positive pranic foods like we talked about. So these were just a few examples of positive pranic foods that you can start incorporating into your life to help you live more of a sattvic diet plan according to Ayurveda. So if you want to learn anything else more about the sattvic lifestyle, go ahead and check out some of the other videos I have on my page. 
hit the like button. Let me know if you guys have any comments or questions in the links below. Thank you for being here. See you next time.